I am still out at the botanical gardens and I am afraid that I'm seeing signs of not just oak decline but oak wilt. You see that yellow margin that precedes the desiccation or the dead dying tissue? That's indicative of the oak wilt. I need to take some leaves back and um, actually do some immunoblot assays to test for it. That's not unlike how um, we test for colds and such in other organisms. Yeah, you can see this is a different kind of dying pattern than I showed you with the decline. So instead of having tip die back, which you can have with it, right? That's probably from last year. Um, this oak decline has that browning of leaves that remain on the tree. Lightning's not very good. And in addition to that browning, you're going to look for uh, this yellow, that yellow edge preceding the browning. That's not necessarily oak wilt, but it sure looks like it. And uh, you can only tell with a, a, a chemical assay. Ah, um, it's about twice as much money. Ah, I don't know. Maybe not twice as much money. It seems like it went in my head because uh, the oak decline can be treated on about, on about three years. So the treatment gives about three years of protection. But the oak wilt, you only get protection for about a year and then it has to be retreated. I've reached out to one client, for example, whose trees I treated for oak wilt last year. And unfortunately, I can't get a call back. Um, so most likely this tree probably cost around $200, $300 to treat. And that would be every single year. So you really have to do a cost assessment as a homeowner. Can you afford to treat it? I like to see them treated at least with a systemic insecticide because the transmission of this disease is primarily from leaf hopping insects in the canopy. And so if they can pick it up from this by feeding on it and then hop to another tree, another oak nearby, then they're going to infect that oak. So if you treat, if you, if you take the tree down, if you have it taken down, um, that's one thing. And the wood and leaves and everything need to be destroyed immediately. Okay, that's burning, not just going into some wood lot from a um, tree company, but uh, actually destroyed. That's unlikely to happen. So if you really want to help do community service, then actually letting the tree live for another year or stay up for another season and injecting it with systemic insecticide will stop transmission of that disease. And certainly any oaks that you have that don't have the disease, they need to be treated with the systemic insecticide in order to protect them. That systemic will protect them for three years and it is far less expensive than the treatment for the oak wilt itself. So call your local arborist and save a tree. Save a lot of trees. Oh. Okay, this is the world that we now live in. Climate change is real. And no, we don't have time to wait.